21 to 5. Maryland takes it. Okay, now. Crowd's excited. Horn's going to go up here in a second, and uh, we'll get to the post game show. For a thorough, beating big win for the Maryland Terrapins. So as you just heard, Maryland takes a 21-5. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Posner, Mason Viner. Bruce, you've been through a lot of these tournaments. Maryland, the prohibitive favorite. Anything happened today that changed your mind? Well, no, this was this was much more than I thought facing a team that won 10 in a row. But we didn't see a dog pound, and we didn't see guys going crazy because another year Maryland's in the quarterfinal and Lars Tiffany and UVA were coming for you. Uh, Terps up 3-1 in the first, at the end of the first, and, and then Maryland turns it on. Mason, it's about what you said you expected before the game started. What, what's your take on the Terps for that? Yeah, Maryland's just a better team. They're, they're the best team, and Vermont, they won, they beat the teams they played, but Maryland's just on another level. Every guy on the field for Maryland is better than the players that Vermont had, and it just showed. And as it gets loud here, the handshake line is rolling. We are going to probably take a break here, do the press conference, and we'll come back with the second half of the postgame show. But Maryland, as dominant as you could be, we're on the road to Columbus, and then hopefully on to Connecticut. With Viner Foregates, you've often heard the term, we make your company work. What that means to us is every ticket, every call, all the time, is handled by our U.S.-based tech support. If you are tired of waiting on hold, if you're tired of the confusion of calling for tech support, call Viner Foregates. We'll help to make your company work by taking care of every ticket, every call, all the time. Matt Zapatello comes down the middle and scores a gorgeous goal. What's that good for your guys? Uh, it was awesome. I mean, goals like that when poles, poles get goals, uh, that's awesome. It's a, it's a, it's a huge play. I'm happy for Ajax's first goal. Um, he was talking about it earlier this week. Uh, but, yeah, happy, happy he got to, uh, to get that done. And then for both of you, uh, every once in a while, Keegan Kahn pulls out a magic act and did it again with a behind-the-back goal and a feed from Logan. Does he do that in practice to you guys? It's funny. He scored against High Point first game of the year on behind the back and he said I've never done that before mm -hmm. uh, and at this point I just assume he's lying because he's I think he's had three of them now so yeah, yeah he pulls it out um yeah I mean he was awesome today feels like he also gets smoked in every game gets like the biggest body check in the game every game against yeah. him so uh kid's a warrior and happy he's on my team and then when it's uh, a nice behind the back just happy for him I'm grateful last one. Mustache too. yeah true <laughs> last one who, who were the guys you were talking to after the game uh, so the McConvey brothers, uh, 44 and 45, I played at, at uh, in high school with them at St. Michael's uh, College School in Toronto, and then uh, Liam Limoges, number 46. We played, we all played junior A together at home. Out of the press conference, Wayne Viner, Mason Viner, here somewhat high above the field at Maryland Stadium. Uh, Mason, anything particularly take you by surprise in today's game? And uh, well, if the answer is going to be no, then how does this lead into the, the, into the Virginia game for you? Yeah, I think that this game is more of one that obviously you got to come out, you got to bring it. It's an NCAA tournament game, but coming into next week, it's really an NCAA tournament game. That's your game to go to the Final Four. Uh, I think Coach Tillman just said it well. Virginia is the champion until they're proven not. It's a team that has an opportunity to win the national championship this year, being Virginia. It's not a game you can take lightly. You got to go out. You got to bring it. Uh, it's it's one of those games. It's every moment of it, every play of it. You got to go 100% and put your best effort out there. Well, I'm looking forward to it because I, I want a game like this. I want a game to look back on uh, as the years go by and go. Remember that game against Virginia in Columbus, that, that was a heck of a game, and yeah, I expect it to be at that level. I don't, actually. I think Maryland will come out and just dominate the game. Um, this is a team that can move the ball like that. The, there's no weakness on it. There's not a single spot where you can point at the field and say Maryland is not the best at, at that one possession. And, and sure, there may be a bad game in there, but I think if Maryland plays their best game, there there's nobody that can beat them. 
Well, Maryland had a great day today. Got some of the, the bench guys in there. Got the guys that make practice uh, to be special. Got their chance on the field. Uh, here's a photo of those guys uh, together after the game. It, it's nice to end the season in College Park on such a high note. Um, but it was such a one-sided game, there isn't that much to talk about. And with that, we're just going to wrap it up here from College Park. Well, we, I think it's important to say this is this is a wrap on our coverage from College Park for this athletic season. Yeah, for this academic year, athletic season, this is it. Football was pretty good. We ended up in, you and I ended up in Yankee Stadium. Basketball, not so good. Uh, for the things that we cover, lacrosse has been outstanding, fantastic, surreal. This is the best team I've ever covered. And for one more week, I get to say that here at Maryland. Thanks for helping out, Mason. Bruce is away from the camera as we wrap up here. It has been special. And now I can say we'll see you next weekend in Columbus for the final eight in lacrosse. Good afternoon.